work with pillows in the bed and be very warm. So letting go, surrendering, and going even deeper into the connection with the creator and the conversation with the creator and asking my body to feel and be, be the, the support for my body. Usually my body is supporting me. This is a time to support my body with the process and also recognizing that I'm in the process. This is what my process looks like right now. Right now, my process looks like I need to be in bed and I need to allow myself to heal from something that happened to the world right now. It didn't just happen to me. Yes, absolutely. I love that you tie this back to the idea of self-care and self-nurturing because I feel like we as entrepreneurs can sometimes keep going and going and pushing and pushing and that is not necessarily beneficial for your body what do you think i think that especially women business owners women mm -hmm. owners, we take so much on our shoulder and we rarely give ourselves a credit or a hug like this is a time for a hug this is a time for like saying, you're doing so much. People don't even imagine how much you're doing. And when the time to care, to take care of you comes, you've got to take care of you and trust. This is the biggest test. The test is to trust, to have certainty that this is what the process looks like right now for whatever reason. For example, I've been feeling so guilty for not doing a lot on my Instagram. I had around 2,000 followers, and I've been feeling so guilty that I don't have enough time to like grow the following and uh, connection, relationships with my Instagram followers. But you know what happened the other day? Like, maybe, it's almost at the same time as COVID happened. My Instagram got hacked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They they wanted wanted me to pay fifteen hundred dollars so that they wouldn't hurt me, and I said no, I'm not going to negotiate with hackers. I'm just not going to do that. So they wiped me out, wiped everything out: the followers, the connection with people. I don't even like the word followers; it's relationship. But but I don't know everybody, right? They wiped all of the posts. They changed the name of the account. So it's you know like. But listen, but listen to what happened. I was feeling guilty that I don't, I'm not spending more time on Instagram. This hacker would happen anyway. So all the time, that extra time that I would have spent, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a relationship that I would have created would have been wiped as well. So it, you know, the it's, universe has mysterious ways. So I didn't, and maybe I wasn't supposed to. Maybe I needed to put my energy something else, someplace else because this account did not have the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So right now I'm rebuilding, recreating from zero. But I, it's just the perspective. So things are happening. Sometimes we don't know why, but trusting the process is uh, gives you so much more um, energy for success, whatever success means for you. Just knowing that whatever we're going through is divinely designed and it's a process that we are in. And if we see it and if we embrace it with the open heart and with the joy, like embracing the process, I'm embracing that I'm healing. I'm embracing like every day I say to myself, like I'm healing, I'm better than yesterday. Yes. Like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that you are so open with us about what has been going on in the background and I feel that we do sometimes t suffer as heart-centered entrepreneurs from toxic positivity where mm -hmm. we are just you know smoothing things over and not really embracing each other when we need to be embraced and okay it's gonna be have to be air hugs for a while guys but being there for each other doesn't require being there in person and knowing that 
what you're going through, we're here for you and we're here to support you. I feel like that has some value. So for everyone who joined us more recently, I'd just like to say that we're having Free Gift Friday today. Our special guest is Julia of Untamed Hearts. And she was just sharing with us a little bit about what's been going on with her for the last few weeks. She had COVID, her Instagram account got hacked. But you know what? You've got us and we're not going to let any of that keep us down. We're here. We're here for you. And we're in this together. It's all about collaboration. We've got really great friends who've joined us over on Facebook. You have a lot of hearts and a lot of likes coming through. Uh, Jessica is over there. Jackie is over there. She says, good morning, lovelies. Um, Marianne Pack says, hi, Veronica. <laughs> Uh, Lynn was there, but now she's joined us on the Zoom. So welcome, Lynn. Thanks for hopping on. Cindy Florenciani joined us. Jessica says, such a beautiful perspective. I'm never alone. My body is always supporting me in the background. And Jessica and Jackie says, yes, we all need to surrender, find that peaceful place. So you see, from sharing this story, you really have a sense that you're not alone. And other people who are going through something like this too will understand that they're not alone and that there is a way to make a connection there. So tell us a little bit about your business, what it is that you are doing now. So um, my, so there, there's a few channels to Untamed Hearts and to Julia, right? So one channel is objects that are infused with energy now all, all of things that i do is about energy it's about supporting people to show up in the world in the way they want the world to receive them one of the ways is to to help you have these objects that become your amulet that you hold on to like i often i share that a lot like this necklace uh, bracelet that I'm wearing. I love it so much. This one is connecting the dots. And I have to say that because this is what you just said, Dr. Davia. Um, connecting the dots, magic happens when the right people come together. Magic yes. happens when the right dots get connected. We just spoke about that, this community, that knowing that you're never alone. Magic happens. Magic happens when the right partners come together, when the soulmates meet, when we have our children and we know this is a child that we were supposed to be connected with divinely on the level of reincarnation. And so magic happens. This is the necklace. So when, so I want, we, we love to support people who affect many others as well. But when you're speaking on stage and you have that with you, this is the reminder that I am holding energy of magic that I am the, I am the person who is connecting the dots when I have the voice and I have the listening. So think th these are, and then we work with crystals where uh, we infuse them with energy as well, awaking them and activate them. So they become like these beautiful objects that you can wear on your skin. So that's one channel, Untamed Cards. Another channel I created, co-created with Nikki Proventure, Conscious Life Collective Community. And it's also a re reaction to COVID, a positive reaction to COVID, where we create events. And um, it's all about consciousness. It's all about energy. Everything I do is about that. But we create space for people to connect, to uh, um, expand awareness, to know what the energy of the week is coming, to feature and collaborate with many people who are aligned with our work. And so this community grew tremendously. It's more than 550 people by now, which I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys and ladies who joined us. And then also I'm a Tata healer and I do energy alignment sessions and it's all about the same thing. It's just different ways to come up to it. Energy alignment sessions with people and removing negative beliefs and blockages that prevent us from showing up in the world in the way we want the world to receive us. So um, I, I work in this probably right now, majorly these three ways with people. And that's how I've been showing up since March. 
since all of my shows got canceled and yep. COVID happened yep. to the world. And I just want to give people a little bit of background about you because I constantly remind us in our Ladies Power Lunch group that every resource that you might think you need for growing your business exists in the group. So can you tell us a little bit about what you used to do before oh, yeah. art became the center of your life? Yeah, so my background is fashion. And then I resigned after being fashion designer and merchandiser for 10 years in New York City. I resigned and then went back to school, studied digital design, right? So digital interaction. And then my first job and for the next 10 years, I spent with Condé Nast working at magazines and recreating like digital properties. So it's very natural way to transition from fashion into digital because Condé Nast is all about fashion but I was working in the digital space. And um, I've created like W Magazine sites, Glamour, worked a lot on Vogue, GQ, like, and all of these glamorous publications. We did a lot of marketing campaigns. So my expertise is in creating brands in digital world and in general. And I'm also very intuitive and I always forget to say that I'm an intuitive. So everything I do is aligned with you, with the client, with the, with the project, it's aligned, it's re special messages are downloaded for that particular um, project and particular campaign, particular client. So my ex, and then I worked, I was invited into Daily News to recreate their digital product and as a creative director, mm -hmm. and I had a team of designers and I worked with editors and, and the reporters. So like all of this, like, like in the movie type of setup, that was my life in corporate world and then I resigned because I am an entrepreneur to the last bone, bone of my body and I had to jump. My son grew up and I just said, I have to jump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so my background is in, in um, creative direction and design and in creating brands, not branding, but creating brands. Brands is all about relationships with your audience. Mm -hmm. Being recognized as an entity that has a life of its own, has energy of its own, has purpose of its own. That's what brand is. Brand is not branding. It's not the name. It's not what it looks like. It's very important. But that's not what I do. What I do, I help people to create brands. Create yeah. something that has life outside of the person, that has relationships with the audience outside of the person. Untamed Hearts is an example of what I created that was aligned with my purpose, right? So Untamed Hearts has life outside of Julia. I, I completely understand that. And it brings to mind the sessions that we had where we sat together and I talked about my upcoming summit and then we were able to see what what is the essence of what I want to project when we get on to the screen and the necklace that you were able to infuse with energy and send out to me ended up being the perfect necklace for what we needed to present. So I understand what you mean when you say being a brand is different from branding. I totally get that. So Today's Free Gift Friday, and you're kicking us off today. I want to say hi to a couple of people who joined us. Jen and Jamie joined us over on Facebook, and I put you guys in the drawing for our free gift. So what do you have for us today? What is your wonderful free gift? So I, um, I've been thinking, what is it that, that I want to give today? And I decided that, and I allowed myself to have a few pieces in front of me and then see, because I just live my life this way. This is how I live my life. I allow it to show me. I allow the universe, the creator, the guide, the God to show me what's needed. And what's needed right now is the connecting the dots necklace is this necklace. And that is really my, and again, I'm just going to show it to you in this format. You can wear it long, right? You can wear it short. You can wear it as a bracelet. 
And this necklace is really great to wear a few pieces at the same time. So like you, you can wear it as a necklace, you can wear it as two necklaces, as a bracelet, as two necklaces together. It's just a beautiful layering piece. And if somebody's thin enough, you can put it around your waist as like a little, uh, not a belt, but something that holds your blouse. So I feel that this is a piece that speaks to the time we live in. And this is what I can gift to my beautiful community that I'm so grateful for to be a part of. That is so beautiful. Jackie says on Facebook, that's so beautiful. And I absolutely agree. And it's the same one that you're wearing, right? It's a slightly different. Yes. Yeah. So the one that I'm wearing is with cubes and these one, this one is with circles. Oh, interesting. Beautiful. I love, love, love this. You can move them. Like you can play with these dots connecting the dots and what's very important that i'm inviting everybody we stamp on our coin on the logo peace for all and it's a message that we infuse in everything we do and everything we create peace for all we want peace and the next step to have peace we want unity but we need we want we must have unity but we we start with the outcome peace peace absolutely absolutely okay wonderful so i am going to give you a job we have with us today marianne naomi kim verona veronica i'm sorry jessica we have jackie we have cindy we have lynn and we have jamie and jen and I think I got everybody who was interested in being a part of the drawing today. So would you choose please a number from one to 10 and that will be our winner. Number 10. And the winner is Jen Akuna. And you know, Jen, she yeah. is um, one of our members that I absolutely adore. She is very focused on nourishing our community with the beautiful things that she bakes. So from one artist to the next, I think there, there are no mistakes. Absolutely, wonderfully. Congratulations. I'm Congratulations. So excited. I'm so excited. And by the way, I'm no longer contagious. So I'm touching this subject. I'm no longer contagious. I'm past 10 days. And so I just want to say it out loud. If anybody has any concerns, I've been very careful. And I've been called, like Department of Health called me. <laughs> so. Awesome. I'm glad that you're no longer contagious. I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm glad that you are... Um, you know, getting past the the situation with your Instagram account. And what I would invite you to do is we, we have about, I would say, I know we have over 600 members in our group, but I would say probably about 500 of us are active in the group. I would say drop a post in the group to just invite people to join you on your new Instagram account so we can help you at least to rebuild the connections that you have made because we are here for you and everybody yeah. is just sending you hearts and love over here on Facebook. We are all with you going through this time. And if there's anything that we can do to be supportive of you, always let us know, always drop your ask in the chat. Uh, thank you everybody so much for joining us today. Thank you, Julia, for, I know you're not at 100%, but you took the time to join us and to give this wonderful, beautiful gift. Congratulations to Jen on being our Free Gift Friday winner today. And everybody will see you guys with Deborah talking about how we can keep more of our money at one o'clock. And again, I apologize for the mix up. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.